so here we go just wanted to ask some of you for the help of what's going on with the Z. I got this car two months ago. Haven't had much time to work on it, but right now got the laptop connected to it. It works. The, you can see as I'm pressing the throttle body. I mean, as I'm pressing the throttle, everything responds back. And uh, let's start the car. And. Uh, I'm just thinking there's a couple of issues with this car. First of all, I have this, there's five, five or six cables that are just laying down on the engine and, uh, well, I mean on the side of the engine most likely. And uh, I've tried disconnecting them and connecting them back together while looking at the uh, failures that the computer will show me. Nothing have changed at all I have only received the uh, I've only received uh, diagnostic trouble code right now there is no codes uh, but as I'll start I received the coolant mistake which was code 13 for the circuit of the coolant and uh, something else with regarding knock sensor but that's uh, the knock sensor in this car is uh, eight to ten hour job and it's not very pleasant and I think though that sensor has been also left in the car and been put out to the top of the engine somewhere but I'm not sure I'm not sure but anyways let's start her up and see what is going on first of all we'll check the codes runs pretty rough and right now I have math sensor from the at the front of the car there is the big big intake filter and it has the um, air sensor connected to it I have disconnected it because once I connect it back the car starts just idling from 100 to 1000 up and down and uh, yeah basically in order to let the car run normally since the ECU and the MAF sensor here are connected directly together and uh, basically if you connect the MAF sensor, if you disconnect the MAF sensor the car will go into the limp mode automatically, it will not let you rev the engine up more than 25 or 3000 RPM and uh, pretty much yeah, let's have a look Here we go. Here we go. Basically, these are my reading readings. Coolant temp looks like it's been. Uh, yeah, looks like it's been uh, sort of a. There's some kind of a mistake with the coolant because I've started the car up earlier today. It came up to 30 degrees Celsius, and then as I have shut down the car, waited for 10 minutes, the temperature by itself went to 62 Celsius. Now this I have running at 61%, I'm not sure what is this, IACV, AAC, V, throttle position is throttle position, airflow is at 0.8, mass airflow is disconnected by the way, so yeah, that's why it's giving this, uh, it idles at 1000 constantly battery seems to be charging which is good engine duty is at 3.5 percent engine i think ing i'm not sure ing duty and ing pools pools pills whatever but basically that's how it's running right now i'm running it at 2000 rpm looks like i'm running out of fuel yeah looks like i'm running out of fuel completely completely but anyways before before I run out of fuel let me show you this basically I need uh, somebody somebody knows what's going on here this is the sound of the engine sounds like a diesel tractor and it's coming out I think from here 
or sounds like it's coming from the middle actually. Looks like this knocking sound is coming from the middle. I'm not sure what's going on here, but I'll show you one more time. I have three wires right here. All of them are disconnected pretty much and it's not giving me any mistakes. And two wires I have here. And I'm not sure what is that because uh, I'm not sure what are those wires. I'll have to read the diagram. But yeah. Now I will be connecting the uh, sensor and the car will start running rich on the diagram and uh, it will start stalling. did make it but was necessary actually but anyways if anybody if anyone of, of you knows what's going on here that would be very amazing if you can right now as you can see this figure right here which is uh, which is the fuel it's running rich right now as soon as I've connected the sensor it started running rich but before it was running lean and uh, not sure if anybody can uh, comment something uh, if anybody can uh, can come up with a list of things to check to do on this car I would be more than happy to do the next video according to that list or if anybody can suggest something I'll just pile everything up together we'll do everything and then after getting it all done I will post the video where um, after the car is fixed or while the car is getting fixed I'll post the video of this um, process and uh, hopefully sooner or later the car will start La sooner is better than later but later is better than nothing anyways thank you for your time and uh, yeah check out my other vids peace